Bengaluru demolition drive. Finally, two big builders and a star hotel have come under the civic body BBMP scanner after a PIL was filed in the Karnataka High Court by advocate uh, Mohan. High Court has given uh, the BBMP three months to decide the fate of Orion Mall, ETA Mall and JW Marriott. The PIL has alleged that big developers have encroached over stormwater drains. And in also what comes as a big relief for over 100 residents, the court has observed that BBMP should work on a compensation scheme for residents whose homes were demolished. Uh, we caught up with Advocate Mohan, who filed the PIL at the Karnataka High Court. Listen to what he had to say. The Honorable Court of uh, Chief Justice, Mr. Subrakaman Mukherjee and Justice Ravi Malimat were pleased to direct the Petit Samarpana, which is an NGO organization, to give a representation to the BBMP Commissioner, uh, wherein the BBMP Commissioner has to ascertain the factual position uh, as on today. And after uh, uh, hearing all the stakeholders, necessary parties in this matter, has to take a decision within three months. So in this matter, the properties involved is that one ETM all, wherein they are constructed over the uh, park and play field reserved for the uh, uh, playground which is a binipet area so which is also has been encroached and construction has been in spite of the objections by the bbmp then as far as the marriott rule is concerned and the orion mall brigade gateway is concerned they have constructed the property over a storm water drain which is also illegal and the, the bbmp commissioner as far as in 2011 itself has passed an order to take action against the executive engineer uh, then who has uh, allowed the storm water drain uh, line to be deviated from the uh, without passing inside the property which is about to the extent of 3.8 acres so under these circumstances, the, now the court directed the uh, BBMP Commissioner to examine the uh, actual si factual situation as on today and then pass these three orders. That the Chief Minister has taken a decision to provide alternate uh, properties uh, like uh, apartments, BDR, or whatever it is there, or housing board. Under these circumstances, the, my client did not press the prayer of uh, providing uh, alternate uh, property or the compensation. I think there is, a, there is a general pattern that in, when it comes to corruption and malgovernance, over the years it is only the innocent victim. The innocent victims always happen to be helpless homeowners or helpless citizens. And I think that needs to change. And when laws are broken, it cannot be the case of any government, popularly elected government, that the, the first victim of that is the citizen. It should be the people who have benefited from the law breaking. And the second fact is that there is, seems to be a double standard in terms of the demolition, where the rich and the connected and the powerful are being let off, and it is only the helpless individual homeowner or flat owner that is being targeted. I think we are coming together today to A, ask for accountability of the government, B, seek prosecution of those who are guilty and who are part of this whole corrupt ecosystem, and third is compensation for those who have genuinely got their approvals from the municipal body, built their homes or bought their flats, and then find themselves now homeless. And we are saying that if the government doesn't do this on their own, we will approach the courts. But the fact that in Karnataka for some time there has been this culture within the government, this government and previous government, of people who are in power indulging in, unfortunately, real estate linked deals, is now becoming visible when you have the topmost officer of a government of, uh, of a government also being accused of uh, you know land related scams then you know what kind of a culture is there underlying it so this is what we need to change now as buyers cry foul and allege that the bbmc bbmp has targeted middle class families our correspondent amita balachandra who had got in touch with the bbmp commissioner manjula reddy gets us an exclusive update on what exactly the BMC is, BBMP is mulling at this point in time. Well, Chief Minister Sidramaya's inter intervention in Bengaluru has uh, made the civic body BBMP change its stance slightly on the demolition drive. They're looking at 38 uh, uh, drain stretches uh, that fall in Bomanhali and Mahadevipura zones on priority. Encroachments on these drain stretches will be taken care of first. That's one. Second, uh, what they're also doing is that the PIL that was disposed of at the High Court, when the High Court see, uh, asked uh, the uh, petitioner in question here, advocate Mohan to approach the BBMP they say that he has not approached the BBMP and only when he does so will they be able to take some sort of action on the two big malls and one hotel in question here what we also understand from the Commissioner himself is that they are drawing up a list of low-income groups or affected families uh, in Bengaluru and post drawing up that list they will send it to uh, the Chief Minister and only then can they uh, figure out if some sort of compensation has to 
be given to these affected families. You can watch live TV on our website mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash magic bricks now. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at magic bricks now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash magic bricks now.